The lighting equipment on your light duty, utility, cargo, or marine trailer is vitally important for your safety and the safety of others on the road. That's why reliable and properly functioning lights are very important. Replacing or upgrading small trailer lighting equipment is something most people can do themselves. The procedure is straightforward as long as you have the appropriate tools on hand. Before you start working on your trailer's lights, inspect the trailer's condition. Verify that the parts you intend to install will work. Will new lights physically fit in the same location as your old lights? Do they mount the same way? Do they provide all the same functions and have the same electrical leads? A good check will save you time later. Even if you intend to only replace the lights, take a few minutes to carefully examine your trailer's wiring. Are there broken wires, brittle, cracked, or chafed insulation? Overly long or loosely attached wires that could get tangled in moving parts or catch obstructions or road debris? Even the best lights aren't safe if the wiring harness is substandard and harness damage and corrosion can be hard to detect. Repair or replace the harness as necessary. Determine if your wiring harness has a separate ground wire. Many trailers with a conductive metal frame use the chassis as part of the electrical ground path. Others use an insulated ground wire, which is part of the harness. There are advantages and disadvantages of both styles that are beyond the scope of this video, but improper grounding is one of the most common causes of lighting problems. If you see corrosion or loose connections where wires attach to the trailer chassis, you may need to repair these connections or fit a harness with a dedicated ground. Only a few basic hand tools are necessary to work on your trailer lighting. First, you will need to remove the old lights and install the new ones you've purchased. Most lights can be installed or removed with either a box end wrench or socket, or a cross head or a slot head screwdriver. The exact size and type of tool needed will depend on the particular model of lights you have. You also need several wiring tools, a wire cutter, a crimper, and a stripping tool. These are all available in a wide range of styles and prices. If you will be using heat shrink style crimp connectors, and you'll see why we strongly suggest you do later in this video, you will also need a heat source. A hot air gun is ideal, but it must be capable of generating heat in excess of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Ordinary hair dryers don't get hot enough. Fortunately, if you don't have an air gun, you can get by with a simple butane pocket lighter. Most lights will detach from the trailer with just one or two bolts or screws. On some lights, the mounting points are hidden behind the lens, which may come off with screws or simply pop off with a flat screwdriver blade. When you remove a light, don't jerk the wires or let the light hang by the wires. This could cause the wire to break or stretch, causing unreliable operation or corrosion, sometimes much later on. Before disconnecting any wires, make note of the colors and position of the wires attached to the light. Carefully and cleanly clip each wire as close to the old light as practical. If the ground wire is equipped with a ring terminal, there is often no need to cut the ground. If the wire looks rusty, corroded, or frayed, try clipping the wire again slightly farther up the wire to remove the affected portion. Just ensure you leave the wire long enough to mount the new light without straining the wiring harness. Corrosion is the biggest threat to trailer lighting. Your trailer's wiring must survive very harsh conditions. Road salts, corrosive chemicals, and oxidation can ruin exposed conductors very quickly, and moisture can carry these destructive compounds a great distance up the wire, out of sight, under the wiring insulation. Because of this, wire nuts, quick splice taps that simply pierce through the wiring insulation and other types of unsealed connectors should never be used on a trailer. The only type of connectors that Peterson recommends is adhesive-filled heat shrink butts connectors, such as Peterson part numbers 561 and 563. In order to properly install these connectors, use the wire stripper to remove the quarter inch of the insulation from the end of the wire. Insert the strip portion fully into the connector and firmly crimp the barrel of the connector onto the strip wire. Repeat the process for the other wire you're splicing together. Once the two wires are crimped, tug on them to ensure they are securely attached. Next, we must heat the splice to seal it. The connector is filled with adhesive sealant. When the heat is applied, the sealant melts and the plastic sleeve shrinks, forcing sealant around the stripped ends to encapsulate them. Be careful not to directly apply heat to one spot for too long, or you may burn or melt a hole in the heat shrink sleeve. After you've wired each light, attach the light to the trailer according to the specific unit's specifications, ensuring that any removable lenses or accessories are secure. Ensure that the wiring is secure, it is not pinched down between the light and the trailer, and can't catch on any moving parts or get snagged by road debris. When upgrading or replacing your small trailer's lights, remember that Peterson carries a wide range of LED and incandescent lighting solutions for many different small trailer configurations. 
As you replace the remainder of your lights, keep these three things in mind. One, make sure the light is grounded correctly. Two, don't pull or tug on the wires. And three, be on the lookout for any exposed wires or corrosion. Carefully check that all lights are functioning properly before towing your trailer for the first time. Then again, every time you hook it up to tow vehicles. Never tow a trailer with inoperative lights. Inspect the lights, lenses, and visible wiring regularly for corrosion, wear, and damage. Doing so will ensure your Peterson lights provide you with many years of safe, trouble-free towing.